yes sir uh, sir wanted to know view on uh, specialty chemical sector for long term तो स्पेशल केमिकल का आउटलुक कैसा लगता है लॉन्ग टर्म के लिए सर uh, आपका कोई व्यू है स्पेशलिटी सेक्टर आई आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दैट सेक्टर एट ऑल आई गेस आदित्य इज हियर आदित्य इफ यू वुड लाइक टू से समथिंग ही कवर्स फार्मा कंपनीज यार अभी आई हैड ऑलरेडी सेंट अ रिक्वेस्ट सो Aditya, if you are free, sir. Going on. Sir, sir, आपका कोई view specialty से chemical होते? It is a commodity business. अपने जो specialty chemical बोलते हैं, वो बहुत ही common chemicals होते हैं. So view है. ये जो स्पेशलिटी केमिकल्स वर्ड है ना ये बहुत ही अब्यूज है ओके सो इन देंस दैट कोई कुछ भी बनाता है नमक पानी तो भी उसको स्पेशलिटी केमिकल बोल देता है सो वी हैव टू वर्क हार्ड एज एन एज एन इंडिविजुअल इन्वेस्टर you have to work hard to understand what is specialty in that company why is it specialty uh to mera ek thumb rule hai usme main jab aisi companies ko evaluate karta hu what i do is basically jo jo company claim karti hai ki main ye specialty chemical banata hu so i ask them theek hai give me your three four big products uh where you make the most amount of money and uh, when they give when they give me the name of those products i just google and find out you know how many competitors are there sometimes i can ask the company also they are also forthcoming about competition what is the global demand what is the global supply how big are you in the global supply and you try and figure out how specialty it is right so if somebody is if somebody says i have 500 competitors clearly specialty nahi hai na what do you mean by specialty specialty should be that uh, there are very few people who are doing it or who are capable of doing it करेक्ट करेक्ट तो ये जो वर्ड है ना स्पेशलिटी इसको इससे बहुत डर के रहने का लाइफ में दिस हैज क्रिएटेड अ बबल इन लॉट ऑफ स्टॉक का वैल्यूएशंस ओके आदित्य आदित्य भाई जस्ट अ मोमेंट प्रिंस आई एम लिविंग आई हैव टू टेक माय डिनर हेलो हां सर प्लीज कंटिन्यू ठीक है शरद सर एक खाली फोसेको पे आपका व्यू बताएंगे प्लीज सर अच्छा है मतलब मैंने भी जस्ट रिसर्च शुरू किया है उस पे तो रिसर्च ही करता रहे ना रिसर्च करता है अभी क्या रिसर्च करेगा कितना नॉलेज है तेरे पास मेरे पास कितना नॉलेज कुछ नहीं है ले लेना सीधा क्या फर्क पड़ता है प्राइस मोमेंट से तो ले ले बाद में रिसर्च कर अच्छा है अब पैसा बहुत बनेगा तेरा इट्स एन एम एन सी गुड वन वेरी गुड Sorry, Aditya. I'm leaving. Please. Many thanks, sir. It is a pleasure listening to you. Thank you yeah. for sharing your knowledge. Um, so yeah, mera mera wohi dimag tha ki basically uh, when you hear specialty, be really alarmed and skeptical to begin with. Do your own research. If you feel that there are few people in the world making it, and there is a reason why there are very few people in the world making the product, then you consider the company specialty. Whether they call themselves specialty or not is irrelevant, right? and that is how you go about it uh, so once you have decided that it is specialty then you see the valuation the multiples the free cash flow the capex projections and you take a call i mean that's how i do it i'm just giving you my framework i am not at liberty to talk about specific stocks but this is the framework i follow when i evaluate specialty companies i hope that helps uh, uh... Prince, I have uh, since Aditya here. Here, I have few questions on uh, pharma and hospital sector. Uh, I'll ask you, and then we will move to queues. Aditya, ha sir, ha Prince. Aditya, don't say. Sir, you say. 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 You say
ये अपने ना बहुत जन बोलते हैं एम एन सी फार्मा कंपनी में से दे है तो हाथ नहीं लगाना चाहिए बट गिवेन द साइज एंड द मार्केट कैप एंड द बिजनेस जो लिस्टेड में रहता है स्टिल यू विल से हाथ नहीं लगाना चाहिए एक्चुअली शरद भाई को सुन के ना मेरा मन करता है उनकी तरह बात करने का तो आई ट्राई एंड स्पीक इट या या प्लीज प्लीज नहीं नहीं इट्स फनी सी आई टेल यू इट्स वेरी सिंपल एमएनसी फार्मा कंपनी का स्टॉक्स आप ना 2010 के पहले देखो और 2010 के बाद देखो राइट एंड 2015 के बाद देखो 2010 से 15 में तो कुछ हुआ नहीं उनमें बट 2010 के पहले तो कोई पूछता भी नहीं था और 2015 के बाद एमएनसी फार्मा का स्टॉक्स चलना शुरू हुआ ओके सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दी होल एवोल्यूशन हियर तो क्यों हुआ ये राइट सो 2010 के पहले मोस्ट ऑफ द इंडियन फार्मा कंपनीज दे वर नॉट इन्वेस्टिंग सिग्निफिकेंटली इन यूएस वेरी फ्यू ऑफ देम वर इन्वेस्टिंग लाइक योर डॉक्टर रेड्डी रैन बैक्सी सन फार्मा दे वर इन्वेस्टिंग अदर्स वर नॉट इन्वेस्टिंग तो क्या होता था कि वो इंडियन फार्मा कंपनी भी इंडिया का बिजनेस करता था एमएनसी भी इंडिया का बिजनेस करता था इंडियन फार्मा कंपनी यूज टू ग्रो एट 15, 20, 25 इन इन इंडिया दोज डेज एमएनसी फार्मा कंपनी यूज टू ग्रो 10, 12 परसेंट इन दोज डेज जस्ट लाइक दे आर ग्रोइंग 10, 12 परसेंट टूडे ऑल्सो सो बिकॉज ऑफ विच नो इन्वेस्टर यूज टू एवर थिंक अबाउट इन्वेस्टिंग इन एमएनसी फार्मा एंड दो स्टॉक्स नेवर वेंट एनी वेर देवर जस्ट लैंग्वेजिंग वेयर देवर then 2010 to 15 indian pharma companies had this big bonanza in the us generic market where there were a lot of patent expiries and they were able to launch new products and uh wahan bahut paisa bana basically uh, pharma companies ka bhi aur like investors ka bhi then india mnc pharma companies ka pooch kab chalu hua 2015 ke baad chalu hua why did investors start investing in mnc pharma companies because the indian pharma companies which are sitting on a very high base of profitability and product launches in the us started facing price erosion and margin pressure to agar main ek mutual fund hu ya main ek aif hu ya main ek pms hu aur mera kuch paisa dedicated hai healthcare ko 10% of my corpus 5% of my corpus 15% of my corpus to main soch raha hu abhi ki theek hai abhi us generic market is going into deep trouble where should i डिप्लॉय में हेल्थ केयर का पैसा देन आई कैनॉट डिप्लॉय इट इंडियन फार्मा कंपनीज बिकॉज दे आर डिप्लॉइंग मोर एंड मोर कैपिटल इन यूएस सो आई कैन देन बाई दी एम एन सी फार्मा कंपनीज बिकॉज दे डोंट दे आर नॉट एट लिबर्टी इज नॉट दैट दे आर डूइंग आउट ऑफ चॉइस दे आर नॉट एट लिबर्टी बाई देर मैंडेट दे आर नॉट अलाउड टू इन्वेस्ट दी मनी दैट दे मेक इन इंडिया आउटसाइड इंडिया सो देन आई स्टार्टेड बाइंग दो स्टॉक्स बिकॉज आई वॉज फाइंडिंग अ प्लेस टू हाइड फ्रॉम द यूएस प्राइस इोशन now that is why the mnc pharma stocks did phenomenally well if you look at the charts you won't believe yourself as to what happened in 2015 to 2020 to these stocks okay uh, they went like some of them went 10x some of them went 20x so that happened now today what is the situation so if you take it from point to point 1980 to 2020 40 years mnc pharma companies have lost market share in india from 90% to 10% so they have lost 80% market share in 40 years abhi size hai kyunki they have been in the market for 40 years so size to banega na market grows they grow with the market so size to aa gaya lekin size ke sath sath aapko ye dekhna hai ki aapke liye paisa kaise banega so for now you can continue to make money in mnc pharma because for now the us generic market is still broken it hasn't been repaired you can invest capital but when you invest capital you need to be cognizant of what you are buying so my purpose of saying such so many things itna lamba answer dene ka purpose ye hai ki i can tell you ki you go with your eyes open mnc pharma ka stock abhi bhi acha kyun karega because if they sell 100 rupee of top line in india they make 20 rupee of bottom line that 20 rupee of bottom line they invest in fds fixed deposit or liquid funds and they get 3 and 1/2% on the fixed deposit or liquid fund that they are investing in whereas when a india pharma company like let's say a, uh, you know let's say orbindo makes money or let's say a, orbindo is a wrong example let's say cadilla makes money uh, they put that money in the us and there they make negative roe or lower roe than 3 and 1/2% okay so the reinvestment from the cash flow of an fmcg business like india pharma business 
that doesn't yield enough return in the india company today but that yields 3 to 4 percent return in a mnc company okay so and because of which those stocks are still of some interest to people but corporate governance wise agar yahi kaam koi india promoter kar raha hota ki ek listed entity aur do private entity aur do private entity mein bhi wohi dhanda karta hai jo listed entity mein karta hai to aap chute the kya stock agreed nahi chute the na abhi just mnc karta hai wohi same kaam to you are still asking right yeah so bike i don't know their details but is there done by design ke nahi pehle se to nahi tha yaar theek hai nahi nahi so you understand na nahi nahi understand why why the listed in india yeah yeah acha tell me koi interest nahi tha india mein list karne ka inko they were forced by the government of india to list government of india want to have private business as well exactly government of india told them ki agar india mein dhanda karna hai to ek subsidiary list karo india mein they said okay ye lo ek subsidiary list kar diya abhi panch mein se ek kar diya हम्म तो आप फोर्स करोगे तो ऐसे ही आउटकम आएगा राइट अंडरस्टूड अंडरस्टूड टेल मी वन मोर थिंग से अपने व्हेन वी ट्रैक से हॉस्पिटल बिजनेस हां एंड डू अ वैल्यूएशन कुछ अपने करते हैं ईवी एबिडा टाइप का वैल्यूएशन के एशियन मार्केट्स में जनरली ईवी एबिडा 15 20 है या 20 25 थोड़ी बार आई डोंट नो हां वैसे कुछ है बट टू द काउंटर आर्गुमेंट से आई आई बाय दैट आर्गुमेंट कि अपना ग्रोथ uh, 3x 2x ho ga on market se but to the counter argument they come at a with a different kind of cost of capital versus us so shouldn't we not, not be taking those examples as our uh, ev abida multiple and plus hospital may be waisa i haven't tr- track them that closely sure. but uh, growth is that growth justify we are growing at 2x kind of thing from this asian peers we are taking the same multiple despite being the different kind of cost of capital so dekho ye jo multiple ka argument hai na completely flawed hai koi nahi matlab kisi ko i know log bolte hain ki thailand mein itna hai russia mein itna hai taiwan mein itna hai to india mein itna lena chahiye wo completely flawed argument hai see the way to value any financial asset agar aap investing ki baat kar rahe ho kyunki this call was about trading jo shalad bhai lead kar rahe the but uh, because you are asking me a question i am an investor i am not a trader uh, to from an investing standpoint the only way to value any financial instrument is only a discounted cash flow method theek hai now you project cash flows you discount cash flows the discount rate you use is your local cost of capital is the cost of capital of the company right and then you arrive at intrinsic value and you see what the implied ev bid or price to equity or price to book whatever multiple you want to compute you can compute from the intrinsic value of the company right to main to is philosophy ko bilkul subscribe nahi karta hu ki kisi market ka koi same business ka multiple utha lo aur yahan ka business pe laga do by that logic sun pharma should be trading at 3 ka 3 ev bid multiple because that is what ever trades at 3 ka ev bid multiple whereas sun pharma should be trading at 20 ev bid तो वो तो खैर यू कैन नॉट सॉर्ट ऑफ यूज दैट एनोलॉजी एट ऑल नाउ कमिंग टू हॉस्पिटल्स का ग्रोथ इन इंडिया सो एक चीज आपको इसमें समझना पड़ेगा अगेन आई एम सॉरी मैं थोड़ा हिस्ट्री टीचर जैसा साउंड करता हूं बट विदाउट हिस्ट्री आई कैन नॉट एक्सप्लेन टू यू व्हाट फ्यूचर विल लुक लाइक प्रोबेबली हॉस्पिटल्स हिस्टोरिकली ना इंडिया में गलत तरीके से कैपिटल इन्वेस्ट किए दे यूज टू ओन द लैंड एंड बिल्डिंग इन विच दी हॉस्पिटल वॉज ओपन टू सो टू ओपन अ टू हंड्रेड करोर a 200 bed hospital in a city like mumbai in the suburbs of mumbai they used to spend 200 crores now out of the 200 crores 120 130 crore was the cost of land and building right or khali 60 70 crore ka cost tha medical equipment wagera jo andar rakhte hain building ke so usme kya roi nahi banta hai because your capital deployed is just too high okay but over the last decade in india and 10 saal se chal raha hai ye phenomenon now it has started overtaking the phenomenon of the older mistakes so for the last 10 years in india now almost each and every hospital that these chains have opened they have leased the land and building they have not owned the land and building usse kya hota hai aapka 200 crore ka capex 70 crore ho jata hai ha aapka ebitda margin thoda kam ho jata hai because now you are paying lease rentals earlier you are not paying rentals but your roe is superior because your asset base is so much smaller so now what is happening is your roe of the hospital business is looking better and better simply because the asset base asset deployed is coming down per hospital per new hospital that you open so that is one part now can these hospital top lines double treble from here the answer is yes 
so last 10 year india gdp growth rate and when i say 10 year i mean 2011 to 2021 india gdp cagr was 5% and last 10 year uh, the healthcare expenditure cagr in india is 7 and a half so which is 1.5x of gdp last 10 year let's say apollo hospital top line uh, cagr is more than 10% so even within healthcare something like a uh, organized player is growing faster than the overall healthcare market to boss double to hoga the question is how much time right to mere hisab se if you assume india gdp growth rate in the next 5 years or 10 years to be 8% i will not be surprised that the healthcare market grows 12 13% and therefore i will not be surprised that some of these hospitals grow in mid teens in terms of top line bol raha hu main bottom line will be higher because of operating leverage तो आई एम तो एक्सट्रीमली बुलिश ऑन हॉस्पिटल्स क्योंकि मुझे लगता है कि दे हैव करेक्टेड दी प्रॉब्लम इन देयर बिजनेस मॉडल व्हिच वाज द एसेट डिप्लॉयड ओके अंडरस्टैंड अच्छा एक और चीज है से फ्लिपिंग आई एम फ्लिपिंग टू मच ये डायग्नोस्टिक सेक्टर में व्हाटएवर डिस्रप्शन इज कमिंग जस्ट I wanted your view. Okay, how much money is paid? Say, uh, say if uh, for a test, a person mm-hmm. is charging say five hundred. How much mm-hmm. actually goes to the revenue of diagnostic, whatever listed company or unlisted, and how much mm-hmm. goes as a distribution expense? Who uh, customer acquisition? Ka because when we see uh, say ARPU per test, so I don't remember now. But when I saw long back, it was not that much growth. That is, these people. अगर रिटेल प्राइस में देखते हैं व्हाट एवर इंक्रीज वी सी व्हेन वी आर पेइंग पेइंग एट द कस्टमर दैट डजंट गेट रिफ्लेक्ट व्हेन वी आर सीइंग अ डायग्नोस्टिक चेन देयर आर पूर रियलाइजेशन इंक्रीज सो इज इट बिकॉज़ ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी कॉस्ट नीचे ला रहे हैं या डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन में बहुत ज्यादा क्या परसेंटेज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन में चला जाता है नहीं यार इसमें बहुत सारे वेरिएबल्स हैं सो क्वेश्चन आपने बहुत अच्छा पूछा इट्स अ वेरी मीनिंगफुल क्वेश्चन बट उसमें वेरिएबल्स बहुत ही सादा है सो लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जांपल सो एक मैं अपना फुल बॉडी चेकअप कराता हूँ जाके राइट नेबरू लेबोरेटरी में तो वो मैं खुद से जा रहा हूँ लैब में तो वहां पे वट एवर आई एम पेइंग ऑलमोस्ट एंटायरली लैब का आरपू वही है मतलब देर इज नो लीकेज बिटवीन वट आई एम पेइंग एंड वट ही इज रियलाइजिंग एक होता है कि मैं किसी डॉक्टर के पास गया मेरे चेस्ट में दर्द है मैं डॉक्टर के पास गया डॉक्टर ने मेरे को एक सिटी स्कैन बोला मैं सिटी स्कैन करने के लिए लैब में गया वहां पे अबाउट थर्टी परसेंट इज द लीकेज टू दी डायग्नोस्टिक प्रोसेस व्हाट आई पे तो थर्टी परसेंट गोज टू फॉर दी रेफरेंस एंड फॉर दी मार्केटिंग एंड वट एवर एक्सरसाइज यू कॉल इट वो उसमें चला जाता है थर्टी टू फिफ्टी परसेंट डिपेंडिंग ऑन दी अरेंजमेंट बिटवीन द मार्केट ईयर इन द मैन्युफैक्चर सो थर्टी टू फिफ्टी परसेंट का लीकेज पॉसिबल है वहां पे देन ऑल्सो लास्ट का दो तीन साल का डेटा डायग्नोस्टिक लैब्स का बहुत ही डिस्टॉर्टेड है डिस्टॉर्टेड क्यों है बिकॉज ऑफ कोविड तो इनिशियली आरटीपीसीआर केम वेरी हाई टिकेट वेरी हाई मार्जिन देन दी प्राइसेस ऑफ आरटीपीसीआर गॉट रेगुलेटेड लोअर मार्जिन बट स्टिल हाई टिकेट नाउ इट्स इज स्टिल कमिंग डाउन सो नाउ लोअर टिकेट लोअर मार्जिन तो ये अगर आपको डायग्नोस्टिक इंडस्ट्री समझना है तो आपको दो सौ के पहले का डेटा ही देखना पड़ेगा उसके बाद का डेटा का कोई सैनिटी नहीं है देर इज नो सैनिटी इन द डेटा ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एंड ऑलमोस्ट ट्वेंटी नाउ 23 का डेटा में सैनिटी आएगा वापस सो इफ यू वांट टू सी सेम डेटा लुक एट द 2019 डेटा एंड कंपेयर इट विद 2023 डेटा बीच का 3 साल भूल जाओ डायग्नोस्टिक इंडस्ट्री का बिकॉज़ दे हैव गॉन थ्रू सो मच इन दिस 3 इयर्स दैट एंड वोलेटिलिटी व्हिच इज नॉट इन देयर कंट्रोल राइट सो आरटीपीसीआर स्टार्टिंग में मेरे को बोला जितना चार्ज करना करो मैंने चार्ज किया फिर बोला इतना ही चार्ज करो मैंने उतना ही चार्ज किया फिर कंपटीशन इतना इंटेंस हो गया कि सब कोई कम चार्ज करने लगे मैंने कम चार्ज किया and the cost of my diagnostic kit also came down na no? starting my rtpcr kit ke liye mereko 400 rupaya dena padta tha abhi 40 rupaye mein milta hai right so there is a lot of uh, difference uh, uh, things that happened in the last 3 years which impacted the way these businesses have looked over the last 3 years so last 3 saal mat dekho is industry ka 2019 dekho 2023 dekh lena abhi jo bhi aayega numbers those those will be the more stable indicators of what the business is evolving to now coming to the डिसरप्शन राइट सो मैंने एक हमारे सो इंक्रेट पी एम एस का एक न्यूज लेटर निकला था दस पंद्रह दिन पहले इट वॉज ऑन डायग्नोस्टिक्स तो उसमें हमने काफी डेटा दिया है आपको कि यू नो डिस्काउंटिंग एंड ट्राइंग टू सेल लोअर प्राइस डायग्नोस्टिक टेस्ट सो फार हैजेंट वर्क 
So I don't know how many of us on the call they have uh, been aware of this lab called Healthians. Delhi wale should definitely be aware, but outside Delhi, I think very few people have heard of uh, Healthians as a lab. So Healthians is promoted by uh, former cricketer Yuvraj Singh, and it is also pro- co-promoted by ma- various private equity investors. Um, Healthians started, I think, in 2014, and unka test prices are lower than Tata One MG, and they have been lower for. Eight years now. Uh, over these eight years, Healthians' financial performance has been 70 crores ka top line. Latest performance is 70 crores ka top line and 45 crore ka uh, loss before tax. Okay, and over these eight years, uh, Thairo Care, Ho Chai, Metropolis Ho Chai, Doctor Lal Ho, they have made thousands of crores of revenue incrementally, right? So uh, is is uh, so hist- so future mein kya hoga dekh mere ko nahi malum tere ko nahi malum uh, history nahi suggest karta hai ki discounting works in history discounting worked only once when thyro care disrupted the thyroid market back in 1990 uh, to thyro care bhi disrupt tha log bhul jate hain ye cheeze 1990 mein disrupt kiya tab 600 rupaye ka tha thyroid ka test thyro care started with 100 rupees test uh, but but that disruption was a profitable disruption see what thyro so i would like to get feedback from you guys also but in my books disruption is when the disruptor and the audience both make money from the disruption that is a sustainable disruption uh ye jo loss bana ke market mein ghusne ka koshish and baad bhi charge kar lunga ye jo hai na that is not a disruption that is just a gamble somebody has taken okay and that gamble only uh, you can continue to play till there is free money tap you know behind you wo free money band ho jayega to you won't have money to burn then how do you carry your disruption forward right because your disruption requires burning cash right so chahe wo e pharmacy ho chahe ye online diagnostics ho chahe ye online consultancy ka business ho none of these guys are profitable sabka data hai ministry of corporate affairs mein sabka data hai जाके एक एक एंटिटी का डेटा निकाल लो ऑल ऑफ दम लॉस मेकिंग और सबके पास अभी कुछ कैश बैलेंस पड़ा क्योंकि इन्होंने बहुत ही इनसेन लेवल्स पे इक्विटी पे डाइल्यूट किया इन द लास्ट टू इयर्स सो दे ऑल गॉट सम कैश लेफ्ट बट दैट कैश इज गोइंग टू लास्ट ओनली इयर और टू राइट डेवी नीड अनदर राउंड ऑफ इक्विटी देन उस अभी इस माहौल में कौन देगा इक्विटी का पैसा उनको और अभी नहीं मिलेगा फिर कैश टू बर्न तो फिर कैसे बिजनेस मॉडल आगे चलाएगा फिर तो प्रोफिटेबल होना पड़ेगा ना बिजनेस मॉडल सस्टेन करने के लिए प्रॉफिटेबल होना पड़ेगा मतलब यू हैव टू चार्ज मोर देन द ब्रिक एंड मोटर ना ब्रिक एंड मोटर का डिप्रिशिएटेड एसेट है ऑलरेडी वॉल्यूम्स है यू कैन चार्ज मच लोअर देन यू तुम्हारा ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म है एग्रीगेशन में तुमको कुछ पांच दिन देना होता होगा बैक एंड को हाउ विल यू चार्ज लेस देन हिम लुक एट द वैल्यू चेन ब्रिक एंड मोटर गाई इज डायरेक्टली कमिंग टू द कंज्यूमर दीज आर एग्रीगेटर्स दे आर गोइंग टू टेकिंग द सैंपल फ्रॉम यू गिविंग टू थर्ड पार्टी पेइंग द थर्ड पार्टी टू डू द टेस्ट एंड डिलीवरिंग द रिपोर्ट टू यू लॉजिस्टिक कॉस्ट है प्लेटफॉर्म कॉस्ट है बैक एंड कॉस्ट है किधर से कंपीट करेगा ही कैन ओनली कंपीट इन एज अ टैप फ्लोइंग बिहाइंड हिम विच कीप्स गिविंग हिम फ्रेश मनी टू बर्न द मोमेंट दैट टैप स्टॉप्स ही इज गॉन यमका जी आई जस्ट हैड अ क्वेश्चन सर चाइना दैट दैट हैव अ स्टॉक ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्शन मूविंग फ्रॉम चाइना टू अदर कंट्रीज लाइक इंडिया Yes. Is it actually working out? Uh, is it panning out? Sir, it is in progress. See, one thing you have to understand about pharmaceutical, which I can certain specialty chemicals. Uh, these are extremely regulated businesses. So, decision abhi last ke two saal me liya gaya hai that many of these global MNCs have taken this call, and you can go and read the transcripts of these global MNCs. You don't have to ask me these questions. You can go and just do a. Google on these global MNCs conference call transcripts. They have said China plus one very very clearly. So diversify. So the three four phrases use करते हैं लोग. De-risking the supply chain, quote unquote. पहला phrase. Second phrase China plus one. Third phrase additional vendor. Okay. ये तीन phrases काफी frequently पढ़े हैं मैंने. तो ये तीनों phrases को आप करोगे तो they have said this multiple times over the last two years. Uh, so clearly they want to move away from China, but this is a regulated business once you have taken the decision to move it will take you bloody 3 years to move so kya hai what is the process so today i am a let's say i am a global mnc like pfizer i am buying from let's say ajijang 
company in china i am buying sartans now i i decide that i don't want to buy sartan only from jijang i want to buy it from a second party also just to de-risk my supply chain right so i come to india i do my due diligence on the four five sartan manufacturers i can find in india i tell one sartan manufacturer let's say ipka laboratories for the sake of argument i say ipka that i will buy sartans from you now ipka says okay you tell me which sartans what is your make pfizer says this is the recipe i want you to make for me ipka starts manufacturing pilot batches sends it to pfizer for quality verification pfizer takes its own sweet time verifies the quality runs 5000 tests on it to verify quality standard everything sends a report back if everything is okay or it sends a report back that these are the changes which we need ye sara process khatam hota hai uske baad there is an acceptable quality that ipka meets then pfizer goes to the regulator says please add ipka in my dossier i will not only procure from jijang i will also procure from ipka the regulator comes down to ipka audits its facility audits the process gives okay to pfizer then pfizer tells ipka okay now i can start buying from you please manufacture commercial batches then ipka manufactures commercial batches sends the batch that is when the first billing happens ye pura process hone ko 3 se 5 saal ke beech mein kuch bhi lag sakta hai depending on the number of iterations at each and every stage right seamless hoga to 3 saal with seam hoga to 5 saal so basically to Yes, China plus one is in progress, but can you make money from this argument tomorrow in the market? No. Okay. First of all, uh, thank you, Aditya, for all the knowledge that you share with everybody. Uh, going back to your point on diagnostics, uh, two things yes, I wanted sir. to add: that uh, I think re- reliability and trust are two other big factors which come into this whole testing game. Indeed. Where all these branded guys definitely. come in so i remember watching one of your uh, interviews on youtube where you, where, where you were presenting the incred healthcare fund right. and you mentioned that your uh, diagnostics holding is obviously very low since pricing was out of whack at that point yes. in time yes yes dr lal has broken down its 50% per- per- of what it was <laughs> from those times yes. so have have you kind of started picking up um, increasing holding on diagnostics what's your overall view 5 10 year horizon secondly and just another two more questions your take on the results from loris labs and how do you see them progressing over the next 5 odd years 5 10 years and third syngine i feel is a very misunderstood company or ununderstood company so so if if you could just elaborate a little bit more about that just for everyone's benefit so stock specific i will not give any buy sell recommendations i'll tell you about the business model okay exactly. and my Perfect. and this is my opinion sure. on the business model uh, this is not a buy sell recommendation just mm-hmm. to get the disclaimer out of the way um so coming to diagnostics uh, your question was on uh, you know am i uh, now okay with the valuation of diagnostic companies the answer is yes they are definitely more reasonable see i am a greedy person i want it to be more reasonable than what it is today but is it more reasonable than what it was in the past the answer is for sure it is more reasonable than what it was in the past so are we looking at it more positively today the answer is definitely yes can it be still more positive the answer is yes i hope that uh, addresses your first question um coming to results on let's say something like a singe uh, of a uh, uh, sorry loris labs uh, so uh, see uh, loris uh, again uh, I, i keep saying this that many of these pharma companies are essentially conglomerates right so they do multiple businesses so loris be a conglomerate they have four five businesses iska api business is largely arv that is where they have a problem because the market is somewhat saturating there and competition doesn't seem to be backing down so they have a challenge in terms of pricing and profitability uh, and growth uh, so that Correct. segment is and that, and sorry to interrupt but that injectable thing that's coming the in- injectable so i think that should also have an impact right uh, i am not sure yaar dekho kabhi bhi oral therapy ko injectable se replace hote hue duniya mein dekha hai na it has not been a great success okay theek okay. hai कोई कुछ भी बोले इंजेक्टेबल लगाने के लिए एक तो डॉक्टर के पास जाना पड़ता है दूसरा दर्द होता है पेशेंट को और वो टैबलेट क्या घर पे ले सकता है आदमी तो ये बात तो ये बात फेयर है कि इंजेक्टेबल क्या हफ्ता का एक चाहिए और टैबलेट दिन में दो खाना पड़ता है दैट इज अ फेयर पॉइंट बट वो हफ्ता में एक बार आप डॉक्टर के जाओगे की दिन बार दो में घर दो बार घर पे बैठ के टैबलेट खाओगे वो आपकी मर्जी है 
plus the pricing of injectable will be more than 14 tablets so we are comparing one injection to 14 tablets so pricing will probably be significantly higher so affordability ka bhi angle so i don't know whether that is a uh, you know I'm so, i am not saying yes or no i am just saying we don't know hmm. question mark definitely ha we don't know the answer to that question ho sakta hai ho jaye ho sakta hai na ho because there are arguments on both sides um now coming to uh, so inka arv ka business to matlab api business is slightly in a rocky path because the largest segment within the api which is arv is going through a turbulent phase um and will it uh, improve very likely not so it will remain like this for a few years to come um now coming to their formulation business so, so far their formulation business has LMIC as the lion share of their sales uh, they sell ARV formulations in low and middle income countries and they sell some ANDAs in US which is very small today and they have recently done a capacity expansion also 5 billion tablets ka 10 billion tablets ka diya capacity so multiple things are playing out there right so LMIC mein kya ho raha hai pricing pressure hai ARV tablets pe so that is creating uh, some loss on margin and top line on the ARV formulation US ANDA they are too small today 100 crore plus revenue Uh, plus minus 20 crores so utna chhota base pe they will still continue to grow because that business is very large in the market so they will go and get their fair share and they have done a capacity expansion for that business so they will be able to supply more tablets and that is where they'll probably make some growth uh, but overall i don't like this business where you are just tender business se dono jagah chahe lmic mein ho chahe us mein ho this is again a business which has got you know that capex intensity pressing pressure competition and i generally try to stay away from such businesses because inme paisa bahut mushkil se banta hai i i like easy money so jahan aaram se paisa bach jaye apne log wahi pe rahe to acha hai this is a business where you can make money but it's tough to make money uh, hmm. so wahan pe wahan pe inka growth aayega but that growth will come by capacity expansion capex intensity working capital investments to so cash flow kitna aayega malum nahi and remember i started my talk today by saying that any security should be valued on dcf so keep that in context uh to so cash flow pata nahi kitna aayega but top line margin thoda thoda aa jayega formulations mein now the most interesting part for loris is the synthesis business the custom synthesis business i think they are doing phenomenally well there they are doing phenomenally well there and uh, that business i'm very very excited about but durbhagya ye hai ki i can't buy only that business i have to buy either the entire piece or nothing of it True. so then you know you have to take that call for yourself whether you like that business mm-hmm. so much that you can buy the other two pieces for it or do you hate the other two businesses so much that you don't want to buy this business for it that answer can be different for all of us uh, depending on how our framework you know analyzes the mm-hmm. company So mm-hmm. that is my take on it, uh, Loris. Uh, And sorry, so, just to uh, uh, jump in here on the biologics piece, this card piece, card piece acquisition. Too small, yeah. So how much top line is? Okay. Okay. Abi, abi, मतलब Loris के context में सौ करोड़ का top line का क्या बात करूँ? Formulation is two thousand crores, no? Yep. हाँ, तो synthesis चलो ठीक है हजार करोड़ के आसपास है. Formulation दो हजार है, API हजार है. Mm-hmm. उस context में what do I talk about सौ करोड़ का business? <laughs> पोटेंशियल है आपको दिखता है पोटेंशियल सी एनी सो ये दिस आंसर एक्चुअली विल लिंक टू योर सिंजीन आंसर तो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट सिंजीन बिकॉज वो सेम धंधा है राइट जो लॉरस का डायरेज कोर में दैट इज द सेम एज व्हाट सिंजीन इज डूइंग सो व्हिच इज आई डेंट स्पीक अबाउट इट सो सिंजीन और जस्ट दी सी बिजनेस राइट वो तो मोनोपोली है ना सिंजीन का भी इंडिया में ठीक है रिच कोर है लॉरस के पास इपका इज ऑल्सो डूइंग समथिंग एंड यू नो अदर्स आर ऑल्सो देर आर मेनी अदर स्मॉलर कंपनीज ट्राइंग टू डू सम स्टफ ऑन बायोलॉजिक सी आर ओ बट सी वेन यू रन सी आर ओ योर बिगेस्ट चैलेंज इज टू विन द ट्रस्ट ऑफ योर कस्टमर बिकॉज योर कस्टमर इज हु एम एन सीज नो दीज ग्लोबल पेटेंट होल्डर्स राइट एंड इफ यू थिंक ऑफ अ फाइजर इफ यू थिंक ऑफ अंजन बायोजेन what is it that their valuation is based on their valuation is based on their ip intellectual property right hmm. that is everything that they have uske alawa kuch nahi unke paas ip is the only thing that they have and they have to share this ip with you to make you work for them as a cro hmm. so, so 
to get them to trust you is extremely difficult which is why this business globally has very few players kyunki ye trust itna aasan nahi hai aane ka right abhi sinjin has proven to you that he is one of the guys these people are willing to trust in fact in india the only guy that these people are willing to trust so to my mind that is a humongous achievement humongous matlab monumental achievement okay and for for our country i mean sinjin is one company which is doing it for us but for our country so uh, so yeah i mean i think you are right it is under less understood uh, as a company uh, but that doesn't that will not stop the company from growing because ye ek snowball business hai right so 10 of us do innovator businesses one of us goes to sinjin gives him one project he does well i give him three more projects does well the other guy goes gives him two projects he does well then the other eight also want to go to sinjin right okay. because they say ki ye dono kar sakte hain to hum kyun nahi kar sakte to you know it's a business that has a snowballing isko j curve bolte hain sin value whenever he writes yeah. he writes about j he writes about a j curve ye j curve ye hota hai basically me too hai uh when you know you find people you want to trust your life with so jaise wealth managers ka hota hai na you know my padosi right. as a wealth manager he has done well for him so i say ki are mera padosi usko paisa diya he has done well for him so why can't i trust the same guy right so wo me too hai thoda but wo me too is very very strong ah matlab apne ko log ko lagta hai ki within neighbors me too hota hai nahi me too goes for mnc pharma companies also in this case there they want to find those few people they can trust with their intellectual property Thank you so much. My pleasure. Uh, Aman, you can ask your question, and then I guess Prince and uh, Vajpayee, you can make a concluding remark. Yeah, thanks. And uh, hello, Aditya. Uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, even ask you a question. Um, Aditya, I just wanted to know about the injectable space because, uh, in a very broad level, I've been hearing that uh, this is one space which none of the Indian companies have been. able to break into and there have been lot of issues and surprisingly hygiene issues which have come up uh, so do you know anything uh, uh, anything which is now changing in this space uh, vis a vis an indian company and also if i can squeeze in uh, are you tracking any company which is uh, into fermentation based api um, production in india yeah uh, these are my two questions thanks yeah um thanks for the question i think uh, uh, so for fermentation is an easier answer i'll give you that so yes there is a api manufacturer in india that is in fermentation it is listed uh, i don't want to name it because of pump and dump or kya kya hota hai and it's too small for me to buy in my fund uh, so i don't have it in my fund but uh, i don't want to name it but there is a listed fermentation api player and they are doing uh, they are currently in the process of upgrading their plant and everything because the order book has just blown up and the plant is not <laughs> it was not designed to handle that order book so so abhi wo pura plant change kar raha hai so anyways uh, that is happening uh, so there is a fermentation based api player in india and there are others also who run unlisted space uh, big opportunity because uh, china is ha- has a monopoly on fermentation and just like any other thing people who are buying fermented products from china want a alternative source so there are people in india making an effort to uh, change that uh, so there are couple of fermentation players actually listed not one there are two listed uh, so that is that uh, to wahan pe hai bahut bada opportunity hai but patient money again regulated business hai so don't buy today or tomorrow hoping ki ek mahina mein panch mahina mein ho jayega kuch wo nahi hoga so if you buy buy with your patient capital the capital which you don't need to look at for the next 5 years or 10 years waisa capital se kare um coming to your question on injectables so this is a very very debatable topic but i'll give you my view and uh, with it i will tell you that i have gone wrong for the last 3 years with this view uh, so my view is that uh, injectable supply to the us market is a just just as commodity a business as oral solid supply to the us market because marketplace same hai na the only difference is that let's say the demand for oral solids in us is x and the supply for oral solids is 2x in injectable if demand is x supply is 0.8x or 0.9x so in the last 10 years where the oral solid prices in us have come down on an average by 6 to 7% for a generic pharma company 
the prices of uh, injectable generic products in US have actually gone up by 6-7% CAGR on the last 10 years. So they have seen inflation when the other pockets of generic market were seeing deflation in prices. Now, therefore, the key question to answer here is, in your process framework, the key question to answer here is, is this peak margin, peak profitability, and peak multiple? Right? So the disaster time to buy any stock is peak margin, peak multiple, right? Which means the stock is 5x, 10x of its value today. Right? Um, injectable gives me that feeling. Because there's a lot of injectable supply which has been created but that supply has not been able to be monetized. Now, what, what is the reason it is not monetized? Uh, that reason is largely compliance. Now, comp so the largest injectable player which makes so much of a brouhaha and gets an enormous multiple for its brouhaha, uh, they keep saying that our compliance is our moat. Wrong, incorrect. I don't read it that way. Sorry, my interpretation is not that. They may be right in saying that in their own rights. My interpretation is that their moat is the non-compliance of others. Tomorrow, if others become compliant and supply, there is nothing that this company will be able to do it and their moat will be violated. No. So any moat which can be violated by somebody else's actions is not actually a moat. A moat is something which only you can destruct. Right. So the moat for this injectable player, which is doing so well in injectables, is that the others who have injectable capacity are unable to monetize it because they are non-compliant. Correct. Now, my point to you is, do you want to buy something at 35, 40 earnings multiples or, you know, 25, 30 EBITDA multiples or 10 times sales multiple um, where the future is not dependent on the actions of this company? It is actually dependent on the actions of the other companies who have created capacity and are waiting to monetize it just because they are waiting for the FD audit to happen. See, this company got two extra years because two years FDA was not auditing. So wo do saal to aise nikal liya. Now FDA has again started auditing. Now when FD again audits the injectable capacity of the other players, two potential outcomes, either an approval or again issues. If again issues, the moat will continue. If approval, the moat will still destruct. Because supply will hit the market, price will come down, market share loss will come volume will come down. See, two hit hai. Price and volume both go, both reduce. So if price declines by 10 and volume declines by 10, your revenue declines by 28%. Right? So that's a little bit of So I feel injectable, but I have been feeling this for last three years. So please uh, do your own work. My capital generally is a 5 to 10 year capital. So I can afford to go wrong for 1 year, 2 year, 3 years and I don't blink an eye. Um, but uh, you guys need to take your call for themselves. So if your capital is 1 quarter, 2 quarter, 3 quarter ka capital, hai, maybe injectable will continue to be a very, very interesting space to be in. But from a 5-10 year standpoint, I just don't see that happening. Yeah, thanks for that. And I, I think you put it so... Um, uh, it's a very helpful way of looking at uh, the compliance that it should be default and it, it's not in moat uh, until someone else also manages to have that compliance level. Actually, you know, uh, Aditya, I wanted to ask more in terms of, I'm not referring to one popular injectable company which is in India. Sure. Um, I, and I guess you're referring to that one. But my question is more on the, on the other ones which have uh, formulation businesses but however have been not able to break into injectables so is there a significant opportunity for any of the ones? Uh, do you see anyone who has a potential? And two, uh, does injectables also depend upon certain diseases um, or maybe biologics? Do, do they prefer to have it through injectables? So I was yes. actually trying to understand it in, in that way. In that context. Yeah. Because in yeah. that context, it is an opportunity. Now, because see, the guy who is already there is making 40% return on equity, you know? So the next guy who hits the market will cut the price. He will make 35% return on equity. The following guy who comes will again cut the price. He will make 30% return on equity. The next guy who comes, he will make 25% return on equity because he'll further cut the price and so on and so forth. So you can play the injectable potential of other guys till the return on equity of the incumbent hits 15%. That is when this guy is also making 15%. 
एंड आफ्टर दैट हुए कम्स विल टेक दी रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी बिलो कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल तो उसके बाद तो इंजेक्टेबल भी नहीं देखने का है Does that answer your question? Yes. So, so which companies you are confident on? Yeah, I can't name companies, but I think uh, if you. So, what should at, I look for if I have to? Uh, because you know, everyone yes, keeps talking about. That's the right question. Yeah. That's the right question. What is the framework there? So, the framework mm-hmm. there is whoever is successful in injectable outside of the US is very likely to be successful in injectable even in the US. Okay. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Aditya. I cannot yeah. say enough, but uh, I follow you and I learn so much from you. And you have always been very generous uh, with your knowledge Arre, and your perspective. This is the second session I've hijacked here. I came to here to Sharad Bhai. He went to go. And then I am getting questions. Last time, Belu Mani sir said, "Yeah, this is not not but, nice." People really love listening to your thoughts. You are so eloquent on the pharma space. We really get to understand the difficult sector and. Uh, we really appreciate it and we sincerely request you to give us time specifically so that pre planned spaces people come up with the, or uh, many questions in random spaces we often see that some mixed questions are asked so any time in when you feel like uh, and you have time sir we would love to host you somewhere karenge karenge at some point in time we'll do it. Also for, also for everyone uh, there was one very good interview from aditya about a month back uh uh bloomberg coint i guess you just i just shared that link on uh, this uh, twitter spaces uh, you can search that on youtube as well so please listen to that interview i wanted to say something before you conclude the call me please yes, please yes sir please ah, ah. so uh, i know there are a lot of retail investors here i heard a lot of them ask questions to sharad bhai and ravi bhai and you know um, i i I know you all are trying to make an honest living, so I'll give you something which I feel is nobody is paying attention to. Okay, and uh, you can actually get in, so to say, at the ground floor of this opportunity. So, but I will not take company names, but I'll give you the framework to work with. Uh, and if you apply this framework, I'm sure you'll come up with five to ten names where you can stay invested over the next maybe five years. Um, so what what has happened okay so just just be very focused i may take two three minutes to put my point so in april 2022 the indian government allowed pharma companies to increase their prices of products in india this is specific to the indian business of the pharma companies the products which are under nlem they allowed to increase the prices by 10.77% that is the wpi now how is this wpi 10.77% calculated so if they are taking for april 22 then they actually take the wpi for jan to december 2021 and then they average the wpi to arrive at the number that they should allow the pharma companies to increase prices by in april okay so far so good so jan to ap- december 2021 ka wpi ka average liya और अप्रैल 22 में आके अनाउंस कर दिया कि दैट इज द परसेंटेज बाय विच यू कैन इंक्रीज प्राइसेस ऑफ योर प्रोडक्ट्स बिकॉज देयर हैज बीन अ इंक्रीज इन द कॉस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्शन व्हिच इज रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द डब्ल्यूपीआई ठीक है अभी फार्मा कंपनीज का कॉस्ट इन्फ्लेशन स्टार्टेड हैपनिंग इन सितंबर 2021 तो सितंबर का 21 का जो रिजल्ट्स uh, था एंड दिसंबर का था एंड मार्च का था उसमें मार्जिनस वर सप्रेस्ड बिकॉज़ रॉ मटेरियल कॉस्ट वाज हाई बट दे वर नॉट एबल टू पास ऑन बिकॉज उनको प्राइस सिर्फ अप्रैल में बढ़ाना अलाउड है नाउ अप्रैल में दे हैव इंक्रीज प्राइसेस नाउ मे एंड अप्रैल एंड मे द इन्वेंटरी व्हिच दे सोल्ड इज द ओल्डर प्राइस इन्वेंटरी बिकॉज़ दो महीने का इन्वेंटरी मेंटेन करते हैं हर फार्मा कंपनी इंडिया में जून में सिर्फ नया प्राइस का इन्वेंटरी बिका है व्हिच इज द हायर प्राइस इन्वेंटरी नाउ योर 1Q23 रिजल्ट्स विल रिफ्लेक्ट अ 1 मंथ हायर प्राइस सेल्स एंड सितंबर क्वार्टर विल रिफ्लेक्ट द full quarter of higher price sales but it doesn't stop here raw material prices now have starting to cool off obviously that some of it is driven by crude some of it is driven by you know other commodity prices um, etc etc freight cost all of which is cooling off from the peak but come april 2023 what will happen government will take jan to december 2022 wpi now look Look at the WPI for Jan to July, and I'll end there. So that that is something I just wanted to share with you guys. Yeah, thank you, sir. 
Ravi, I have some issue with the screen. I am not seeing all the audiences. Are we done with the questions, or anyone is to uh, left to ask question from sir? Yeah, I'm not sure, but uh, there's one request from Krishna, but it's getting late. Let me try to put Krishna. I'm not able to hear. Anyway, we will uh, take his request uh, next time, or perhaps if he have any question, uh, we'll uh, coordinate and uh, ask from Aditya sir. Thank you once again, sir, for uh, coming to our spaces and uh, adding value. And those who are, uh, I mean, those who have interest in pharma space, so Aditya sir and uh, unseen value, Sajal sir and Puneet Bansal, three handles I really admire and. Uh, literally you guys are helping retail people big time sir seriously fan of yours <laughs> hey, thank yeah, you Ravi. my pleasure my pleasure and uh, uh, hope all of us make uh, you know a decent uh, hard earned uh, return on our capitals that is the reason why we share and i think we all believe that uh, sharing includes learning also so you know whatever feedback you guys have i write newsletters i share those newsletters on twitter and linkedin um so any feedback you guys give us helps us to improve helps us to you know uh, get better uh, so let's keep it a two way street let's keep the communication you know going and uh, hopefully we'll all benefit from such interactions right sir so true yeah ravi any any concluding remarks from your side then we no yeah just, just thanks for everyone for staying so late it's been uh, very long session and thanks aditya Uh, for patiently taking all the questions, so we can come to it. It's getting late now. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. And uh, guys, if you are liking our spaces, do connect with us. And uh, we often host such spaces. And uh, obviously, it is a mutual platform where good questions and good answers add to our knowledge and uh, keep coming. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Good night.